If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. Hello, Lies on the Road subscribers and followers. I was told the other day that if I want to start competing with the other uh, nomadic YouTubers, that I need to start traveling more. That me staying in one spot for so long, nobody's going to want to subscribe to my channel because of it. Well, first, I'm not trying to compete with the other YouTubers. I'm actually trying to promote that everybody live their dream. And their dream may not necessarily be being a nomad. I mean, if you think about just the definition of nomad, you know, I live out here on the free uh, free campsites and any free campsites I can find. I'm always scrounging for water and, you know, we're miles away from food. Other people might consider a nomad nomadic lifestyle as being an RV park. So for me to sit here and tell you this is the nomadic lifestyle, it's unrealistic and so I don't do it. So that being said, but let's talk about traveling. Now, I've tried to teach how to live your dream very inexpensively. My budget is about $850 a month. We regularly come in at around $650. But in order to do that, we have to try to maximize the amount of time we stay in an area. Not necessarily in a campsite, but in an area. So for example, we were down in the Apalachicola National Forest area from December to April. Now, when we got to the Apalachicola National Forest, our costs, our expenses were quite high. Once a week, we would have to travel all the way to uh, Crawfordsville, which was about 40 to 50 miles away from the camping areas that we were staying at. So we were traveling 100 miles a week back and forth to go grocery shopping. Well, the only place we could really find was Walmart. They had all the, the foods that we really needed. Walmart is not the cheapest place in the world. It's cheaper than some local grocery stores, but not as cheap. After being there for about a month, we discovered a small grocery store uh, about 17 miles away, which was a lot better. Now, all their prices were very expensive except their meat prices. They had a fairly decent meat selection with a fairly uh, reasonable pricing. So for about a month, we shopped our meats at that spot. Fast forward another month and then we discovered that there was a town even closer. It was about 13 miles away that uh, a grocery store that everything was more reasonable. Now here's the thing even though we were spending a little bit more on some like canned foods than we were at Walmart we were making up the savings by not having to travel so far in the first month. So over time you begin to learn the area and you start reducing your cost. That is one of the reasons we stay in an area so long. Not to mention, we like to get to know the, the, the area as well as we can. We're not into this, let's take some pictures and move on to the next location. Now, let's talk about travel costs. Think about this, when you go on a vacation, you save for six months to a year, and then you put that money into a vacation expense, and you know, you get a thousand bucks, two thousand dollars, and then you go on vacation. When you're living out here, it's not a vacation. It is your living out here. So you can't save up, you know, a thousand bucks to go traveling around all over the country. I see guys out here, you know, they, they come in for a day, they, they park their campers, and the next day they're moving on. Well, they're traveling, and that cost is going to get up there pretty high. From, from the time we left Missouri to the time we got to South Dakota, we have spent almost $150 just in gas. That is our entire monthly budget. We, we budget $150 for gas every month. Well, we used all that money up in the first week of leaving Missouri to try to get to South Dakota. So that means that in order to make up that money, we have to stay in this location as long as possible without traveling too far. So what we've done is we've come to this, this uh, national grasslands. The town is seven miles away, and we won't have to fill up the, the gas tank probably for the entire month. We can hopefully, in, in the best case scenario, just move to another campsite not that far away. The next month, we, we might travel a certain distance trying to compensate so we don't use up all our gas money this time. That gives us a little bit more variety. But you have to, in order to do this on a budget, you're constantly trying to figure out how to minimize cost in one area, maximize and if you have to spend more in the other area. Usually what you do is you try to compromise between gas price and food price. But there's also propane costs that maybe you can reduce the amount of propane if you're out in the national forest. You can cook off the campfire 
Whereas here in the National Grasslands, you're going to have to use propane because you just don't have any wood to actually collect to start a campfire here. Now, the other thing that, that, that reduces cost compared to a vacation is sightseeing. You can spend a fortune going sightseeing as a nomad. Right across, right across the field over here is the entrance to the Badlands National Park. Well, it's a 25, I think it's either 20 or 25 dollar entrance fee to get into it. Well, we try to stay away from the tourist attraction things. What we try to do is, is find locations like this that are free, that are very similar to the to the to the, the attraction. For example, when we go to the Black Hills National Forest, we're not going to actually go into the Mount Rushmore attraction because I think it's a twenty-five dollar uh, entrance fee to go in there and, and see it. But just down the road a ways, you can go and park off the side of the road, and they've cut a they cleared trees out of the way so you can see it, and it's a very beautiful view. So we will try to find something free to do like that. Or if we go to Devil's Tower, there's another example. We won't actually go inside the park. We'll stay outside so we can, you know, observe it from, from a distance and take pictures. And hopefully maybe we can even find a campsite nearby. So we can see it from, uh, you know, a free campsite nearby. Or as we travel, go to town or something, maybe we can see it that way. That's what we try to do to minimize the cost, but still get to see this beautiful country. We don't think it's necessary to see everything in a couple of years. We've got our entire lives to do this and we really want to try to just slow down and enjoy the, the areas while we're there, enjoy life, reduce the stress and you know we're not in a hurry to run up to Alaska. That's not the objective. It's not. The objective is to enjoy the dream, your dream, whatever your dream is. This is my dream to sit out here and look at that. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, click like if you like the video, and happy travels.